Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, how y'all doing? It's Kaiser. And, well, I really wasn't going to cover this story, but some recent things have kind of made it abundantly clear that I can't just play the fool and ignore this one any longer. So, yeah, we have to talk about that movie again. We have to talk about that actress. We have to talk about that thing that has been hovering over Disney like an absolutely just terrible storm cloud. And rightly so, because it's a giant pile of garbage and it's going to fail. And I'm going to be here just to bring you all the information as it comes available. But again, I sat on this one 24 hours because I really, really wanted a chance to dive into this one, see if there's any new information that come, came out. And sure enough, there was. So <clears throat> we're all familiar at this point with the um, actress, Rachel Zegler, and her whole big situation going on with the controversy surrounding her upcoming Snow White movie helmed by Disney. Well, that movie is already in a lot of trouble, and it's not difficult to understand why. For anybody that needs a recap, let's just go ahead and recap it. So, the movie's production photos have looked abysmal. There's been a lot of uh, alleged problems with Rachel Zegler. It's not even alleged at this point. It's out there in the public forum. You can see a lot of her... Uh, Really bad takes. Feel free to just go back through my catalog and re revisit some of those videos because, oh boy, they are worth the watch. But it led to Disney ending up having to kind of, for lack of a better word, kind of muzzle her and force her to not be able to talk about this without pre-prepared statements from her publicist and from Disney. And pretty much she's been put on a social media embargo regarding the movie just to try and <laughs> curb some of the damage that she has already done to this film and it's not even going to release until March of next year. Well, that led to a lot of speculation with all the bad press, all the bad PR. A lot of people were saying, well, well is this movie canceled? Well, short answer is no, it's not canceled. Disney's not going to cancel this one and the reason is Principal photography, all of the uh, the actual like shooting had already wrapped for the movie before the controversy really came out. And once the controversy was out, they were already in post-production. They're already going through doing VFX and reshoots, whatever they need to do to f finish it up in time. But now it's looking like there's even more problems on the horizon for this movie. So the big issues at hand primarily deal with the cost. So the initial costs for Rachel Ziegler's Snow White film are already shockingly high. This from bounding into comics. So a new report details that the initial cost for Walt Disney's company's live action Snow White film starring Rachel Ziegler and Gal Gadot came in at $209.3 million, which, okay, I mean, not impossible, but... Seems remarkably low for uh, what Disney's been putting out a lot lately. I mean, it's not quite as low as Haunted Mansion's budget, which also was a giant flop, but eh, let's just keep reading on. So uh, according to Carolyn Reed of Forbes, uh, the in the UK for the company, Walt Disney had already spent $209.3 million as of July 31st, 2022. Uh, they apparently got a $41.1 million tax rebate, which was supposed to bring it down to $168.2 million. But some of the additional information that is now coming out, and you know, a lot of this is very much thanks to Valiant Renegade, saying that uh, reacting to the recent information, financial and box office analyst Valiant Renegade wrote on Twitter, form X, formerly Twitter, Rachel Zegler's Snow White looks like it will have a production cost of over three hundred million dollars i'm sorry they said production cost of 300 million dollars sorry got ahead of myself because let's just not bury the lead <clears throat> it's quite possible it could go even higher than 300 million given that the production costs that were incurred over the past year as well as any that go on for post-production work that the film will undergo 
Nevertheless, Reed claims based on these initial numbers, the film will need to gross $336.4 million to break even. However, her calculations do not factor in marketing costs. That is correct. And as we get into down here, they break it down for us. However, as noted above, given there is are, there are clearly quite a bit of production costs that are likely to still come, as well as post-production and marketing, one could see the film needing to bring in at least $750 million at the box office, and that's using the a conservative 2.5 times factor for Valiant Renegade's $300 million minimum production. The 2.5 times factor accounts for the different grosses as well as marketing costs. So yeah, when you factor in all the marketing, the uh, post-production, VFX, all of that stuff, on top of the proposed $300 million budget, that budget goes extremely higher. Could be, I mean, could even be in the ballpark of 350, 325 to $350 million. But then on top of that, you have the marketing and the advertising, which more than doubles the cost of your movie, which means that that $750 million is just what they would need to break even on this film, which seems par for the course with Disney over the last bunch of movies that they've put out. Uh, I mean, look at Indy 5. That one had a $900 million break-even point. And then we've also seen a whole bunch of other films come out with them lately. And, I mean, the upcoming uh, Marvels looks like that's going to have a break-even point pretty close to that, $750 million, as well as, I mean, we've already seen other films this year that have hovered right around that mark based on our estimates. And that is a really big problem. I mean, especially in a particular time when Disney right now, in the last 15 months, has lost a total $1.5 billion. That's B, billion with a B. Yeah. And the woes for this movie don't get any better. This The woes for this movie only continue to get worse as just yesterday, here's the point that I was going to make, that, um, well, hold on to your butts because uh, some things happened recently. Apparently, the Daily Wire has thrown its hat into the ring. The Daily Wire announces live-action Snow White and the Evil Queen starring YouTube sensation Brett Cooper. Yep. Uh, the bombshell announcement comes alongside the release of Disney... Or, sorry. Sorry. The bombshell announcement comes alongside the release of the company's kids streaming app, Bent Key. So, yeah. Daily Wire is throwing their hat in the ring on this one. They're saying, hey, we're going to go ahead... You know, since Snow White, the original you know, fairy tale and everything is public domain as long as they don't throw the seven dwarves into it, which are still technically under uh, Disney's copyright, then they're fine. They can just make up Snow White story. And apparently they're keeping it as close as they can to the uh, the Grimm's fairy tale version. This announcement came out on tw on Twitter, I should say X, formerly Twitter. So this was the uh, announcement trailer for the upcoming movie. I'm not going to play the audio on that, but um, yeah, it looks like uh, a, not mo really much of a trailer, just kind of showing some wildlife shots, got the apple, and then we got the introduction of Brett Cooper as Snow White, and yeah, so I know a lot of folks are immediately jumping to the conclusion, oh, well, I mean, if it's Daily Wire, it's going to be all conservative, and conservative messaging, and then Disney's version is going to be super left-wing. I don't really believe that, because if you've noticed any of the movies that uh, Daily Wire has produced recently, they have been putting out a few movies, and the thing is, they've been trying to be very non-political. They've just been trying to focus on making at least good movies, and they've seen some actual success in that area. Uh, but... Hollywood Reporter even saying Daily Wire is making a rival Snow White movie trolling Disney. Conservative media company released a trailer for the Snow White and the Evil Queen starring Brent Cooper following backlash over Disney's upcoming Snow White starring Rachel Zegler. So kind of moving on down to the meat and potatoes here. So Cooper hosts the Daily Wire produced show the comment section with Brett Cooper. Quote, I was raised on the 
the original Grimm's fairy tales. So I'm thrilled that we're bringing this iconic story to life for the next generation, Cooper said. Snow White is such a beautiful character, and I'm honored to be playing her. Like all the best fairy tales, this is a story with timeless values like love, friendship, and kindness, and I can't wait to share them, unquote. So, strangely enough, that seems like a very far cry from some of the, uh, well, let's just say her uh, competitor in this sphere, because, uh, I mean, let's not forget this lovely gem. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't yeah. do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince? And so, yeah, weird, weird. Uh-huh. Seems like somebody here has got a slightly better idea than the other, and it's not Rachel Ziegler and Disney. Just going to come out and say that. Well, Disney immediately had to run damage control on this, have, coming out with this post over on uh, X, saying, uh, under Snow White news, Rachel Ziegler reportedly blew audiences away with her performance as Snow White and scored very high with viewers in a test screening. Gal Gadot and... Admiral, as like Andrew Burnap also got high scores during the screening for their characters. Huh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm uh I'm I'm pretty doubtful on that one there. Just gonna just gonna say Bullshit or not. You be the judge. But it's bullshit. <laughs> it's uh definitely looking like this movies are you know the snow white starring rachel ziggler has got a big uphill battle that it's got to accomplish i do not see this one actually doing very well in theaters it's already basically box office cancer for anybody that uh has followed this story has known about rachel ziggler and her antics off the screen as well as behind the scenes and a lot of the uh other things going on She's made some pretty wild and crazy a accusations and comments, and it's just flat out made her com look, well, completely unlikable, which I'm pretty sure that uh, those candid moments are just a reflection of, uh, well, you know. <laughs> anyway, folks... I wanted to kind of sit on that one because I was not sure how this was going to play out. So I went ahead and just waited. I'm glad I did because we got the updated information on Daily Wire as well as the, you know, just to see what Disney did. And yeah, on clockwork, they started doing damage control for this movie. And the situation is not good. So we will continue to keep an eye on this. It will, I will report any new information as it comes out and say, but uh, that's really all we got for this one right now. Anyway, folks, definitely go down there. Hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I've got new videos five days a week, live streams Wednesday and Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. And on Thursday, we've got a bit of a special with my good buddy Dave, MLS Law. We're going to be talking Star Wars, the original from 1977, doing a lot of a kind of a talk about its importance to the cultural zeitgeist, a lot of the uh, the background, behind-the-scenes information, and just kind of what the film means to everybody else. So come on out. Enjoy that. It's going to be a good time. Again, that is going to be Thursday, 9 p.m., but also join me tonight, Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be doing Edge of Reality, covering some interesting and paranormal topics because it's the Halloween season. What else do you do? Anyway, folks, that's all I got for today. I will see you all later. You have a great rest of your day, and thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.